Country representative for the Pan American Health Organization notes plans are in place to build capacity in health facilities with the rise in COVID-19 positive cases. Doctors Hospital has created space as well as the South Beach Clinic and the Cancer Society in Grand Bahama. She said there are attempts to increase bed space, but she calls on the public to take note of the increased cases. But the public needs to look at these trends very seriously. There are several indications of the serious situation that we're facing in the Bahamas. There's indication of the lack of sufficient clinical capacity. There are reports of the morgues being overcrowded. We, we are up to 95 deceased persons or more due to COVID in this country. These are really serious indications of, of a serious impact on the health services as well as individuals behind each death Behind each case is a number of persons, family members, and others who are uh, affected by these circumstances. And we also have healthcare workers who have been at the front line of this fight from the beginning, um, when this first started in March, for, for the general public, March was the, the marching orders, but the preparations for the outbreak started in January. Dr. de Gorville said a recent interview adjustments have to be made to live with the virus, but people must adhere to health safety protocols. I, I think that the time has come for us to recognize that we, we have to, to live with this virus. Um, the options for continued um, shutdowns, um, really, it has a, a very um, bad economic impact on our countries and, and Bahamas is not alone in having to make these difficult decisions. The, the countries in the Caribbean subregion are all struggling with this issue. Many of our countries are tourism dependent and um, in the absence of international travel, the implications are that large proportions of our working public will be unemployed. People of, of employable age are unemployed with trickle down effects on family life on um, the ills of society, the social ills such as domestic abuse, such as um, crimes as people try to, to cope with their needs in life. And, and the reality is that we have um, very few um, medical options to offer in, in this setting. So we can't just um, internationally stand still and difficult as it is for us as um, public health um, specialists, we need to hear what our um, political and economic uh, leaders are saying.